Welcome to another video from ZYT. In this video, we are going to see how to make your e-commerce store website secure. So the first uh, question that comes into mind is that what is an SSL certificate? Uh, SSL is secure uh, socket layer. It's a certificate that provides security uh, to your website by encrypting communication between your website server and uh, the visitor visiting your website. So why do I need an SSL server? There are three main reasons why you would need uh, SSL on your e-commerce store. Uh, number one is you want to accept online payments or a credit card information uh, on your website. Second is uh, there might be certain sections on your website that you want that are confidential and you want it to be secure. Okay. And thirdly, nowadays customers look to see whether your shopping cart or uh, your order form is secure before entering their credit card information. Oh, that's so. Uh, you may lose sales if your customer don't see uh, SSL certificate or HTTPS. In your website domain. Okay, so that means uh, the SSL having an SSL certificate is actually very important on yes. any e-commerce website. Okay, so my uh, my next query is that uh, what do I need to have before applying for this SSL mm -hmm. certificate? You need two things. Mm -hmm. uh, number one is unique IP address. Mm -hmm. Now this is uh, normally this unique IP address comes with your uh, dedicated hosting plans okay. but now if you have a shared hosting plan then you have to buy a dedicated IP okay. Okay? Uh, or else uh, uh, on every dedicated uh, hosting plans this unique IP address is included. Okay. So number one thing uh, you need before buying a SSL certificate is a unique IP address. Mm -hmm. And uh, second important thing is collect contact information in your WHOIS record. Okay. The authority, uh, certificate authority needs to validate that you own that domain mm -hmm. and you have authority to uh, you have authority to order that certificate for your domain. Okay. So these are the two important things. A unique IP address and uh, correct contact information and whose record. Okay. So uh, now since uh, as you said you need to purchase this. So how yeah. long does it take to get this certificate activated uh, on the website? It depends on what type of a certificate uh, you are getting for your domain, okay. your e-commerce store and secondly which certificate uh, authority you are getting it. Okay, so can okay. you please explain? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, now there are three types of SSLs. Hmm? Uh, number one is domain validated only certificate. In this case only your domain name is validated. Okay. Okay, and uh, since only domain name uh, is validated, you can get it within few hours. Okay. Uh, the second type is uh, organization validated certificate. In this case, your domain name is validated and certified. Along with that, your company name is validated. Oh. So it may take a couple of days to uh, get your SSL certificate. Mm -hmm. And the third is extended validation certificate which is uh, normally called as EV okay uh, here there are three levels of validation first yes your uh, domain name uh, validation second your company name and then the legitimacy of your uh, legal name address phone number executives mm -hmm. of your company is validated hence it might take from few days to couple of weeks okay okay uh, the next question that comes is that is being very uh, usually asked is that can we move or copy this SSL certificate from server to another server? Yes, you can copy SSL from one server to another server provided A. You have that certificate with you. Yeah. You have a private key associated with that certificate. Okay. And most importantly, the 
your old server configuration or the environment should be exactly same to your new server configuration or uh, environment. Okay, if uh, your old server matches uh, the new server uh, settings and you have certificate and private key, you can easily transfer your SSL from your old server to the new server. If you don't have any one of it, you will have to purchase a new one. Now since we, uh, the point was matching the configuration, so if you can uh, let us know that what type of settings needs to be checked when matching this configuration. Is it the versions, what software versions we have? Yes, yes. Normally uh, what you can do is you can check your um, uh, hosting mm -hmm. provider, you can contact your hosting provider, you, uh, you'll get a detailed list of um, server settings, versions um, and uh, the one that you are getting from a new server, you can compare it and oh, see. Okay. And uh, the next is, uh, is this SSL included in the hosting plans? Uh, in, uh, SSL is included in dedicated hosting plans. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, As you had earlier. Yes. Yes, it's included in uh, dedicated hosting plans. However, for uh, shared hosting accounts, you'll have to purchase okay. separately okay. along with the dedicated IP. Dedicated IP. Also. So, uh, and this, can I share my SSL certificate on two domains? Uh, you mean to say one certificate on two different domains? Yes. Yes. No. For this, you will have to purchase a multi-domain SSL certificate. Okay, so that is something another type of certificate yes. for multiple domains. Multiple domains, yes. Which resides on one server, same server. Same server. So, is this SSL fee a one-time or a recurring fee? And can it get refund for any SSL if I drop my domain? It's a recurring fee. It's same mm -hmm. as uh, your hosting or domain registration plans. Okay. Uh, there are monthly or yearly plans. Mm -hmm. So you have to renew it based on plan you select. Okay. And regarding refund, it depends on what provider you get your certificate from. The policies change from provider to provider. So you have to check their uh, terms and conditions and uh, 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 policies for refund. So uh, the, uh, my last question is like, uh, will this HTTPS affect my mm -hmm. SEO work done earlier? Okay. Uh, so in case uh, I had my e-commerce store earlier, mm -hmm. but now I came to know about that, uh, why, what the importance of SSL, having an SSL certificate for my e-commerce mm -hmm. store. Mm -hmm. So, but already the e-commerce store, the links have been indexed on Google mm -hmm. and after applying this SSL certificate, so will it affect my SEO, whatever SEO has been done to date? See, Google, uh, Google is, uh, prefer, uh, Google prefers site that are secure mm -hmm. and certified, okay? okay? It has been telling, uh, I mean businesses or e-commerce store to go from HTTP to HTTPS from a long time. Okay. So I think you shouldn't be worried mm -hmm. in terms of SEO. But yes, you have to uh, make sure that you communicate to Google mm -hmm. through Google Webmaster that you have shifted from HTTP to HTTPS. You have made your uh, e-commerce store secure. Communicating that to Google is important. Uh, yeah, I think uh, most of the common questions related to the SSL certificate and uh, mainly how to secure an e-commerce store uh, has been covered. And, uh, but still, if we have any more queries or details, you can write us on the uh, on our email ID mentioned on the screen or you may comment on the video with the hashtag of AskZYT. Thank you.